He gave them the water of wisdom to drink. It will be made strong in them and will not be moved. It will raise them up forever. Alleluia. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. We offer up this Mass for Paul Quirk, whose funeral is today. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter spoke to the Jews. The whole house of Israel can be certain that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Hearing this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the Apostles, What must we do, brothers? You must repent, Peter answered, and every one of you must be baptised in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise that was made is for you and your children and all those who are far away, for all those whom the Lord our God will call to himself. He spoke to them for a long time using many arguments and he urged them, Save yourselves from this perverse generation. They were convinced by his arguments and they act accepted what he said and were baptised. That very day about 3,000 were added to their number. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord 
fills the earth with his love. The word of the Lord is faithful and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right and fills the earth with his love. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Alleluia, alleluia. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Mary stayed outside near the tomb weeping. Then, still weeping, she stooped to look inside and saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said, Woman, why are you weeping? They have taken my Lord away, she replied, and I don't know where they've put him. As she said this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing there, though she did not recognise him. Jesus said, Woman, why are you weeping? Who are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will go and remove him. Jesus said, Mary. She knew him then and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means master. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go and find the brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. So Mary of Magdala went and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands 
for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and he gave it to the disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Ralph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant Paul, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
If you have risen with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Mind the things that are above. Alleluia. Spiritual communion prayer for those who can't receive Holy Communion today. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to have you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come, at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as having already come, and I unite myself entirely to you. Never let me be separated from you. Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.